What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the current state of modern gaming and why it feels like games these days just don't grip us like they used to when we were younger. Now, I want to preface to I want to say two things really quick before we get into the bulk of this video because I'm going to be talking a lot about modern gaming. Uh, and the first thing that I want to talk about is I am very aware that there have been incredible games that have come out in the past few years. So I'm not trying to say that all new games are worse than all old games. Of course, we saw a lot of PlayStation exclusives. God of War, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, we saw Spider-Man, uh, Nintendo had Breath of the Wild, so we saw a lot of really great games, uh, games in the past few years, so I'm not trying to say that new games aren't good. Um, and the second thing that I want to acknowledge is that yes, as people get older, looking back at what they used to play, like A, if you don't have responsibilities, i.e. you're in middle school, high school, whatever, then it's easy to get attached to video games because you don't really have to worry about anything else, honestly, and you have all the time in the world to play them. Uh, and B, looking back, you'll always have those rose-tinted glasses on, right? Everything just, the nostalgia feels good. So I want to acknowledge those two things and I kind of want to remove them from the equation, right? I understand both of those concepts very well i understand that there's good games and i understand that nostalgia and growing older has an effect on how you perceive current games versus older games right so i want to lay that out first before i jump into it so what i want to talk about in this video again like i said is wh why aren't games gripping right and i think that this is an, is an inherent problem um for a lot of people in the industry right now and right now for a lot of gamers fortnite is the only big thing on the scene right if you think for the past couple of years like what have been the biggest things uh that that have popped off right i mean we saw pokemon go that was huge worldwide and then we saw fortnite which is another massive success um but all the other triple a titles right if we look at all the other development studios meaning activision ea ubisoft like all these big companies right what what games have they released that have been truly gripping over the past few years right We're, we can look at bethesda we can talk, look at blizzard these game companies are massive and they've been around for a long time how is it that epic and fortnite have released one game that have that have dominated all of these industries just completely destroyed everything that they have done to the point where they've tried to recreate it with things like Call of Duty Blackout, we saw uh, uh, Battlefield release their own Battle Royale, we saw Apex Legends pop on the scene and then disappear immediately, nobody cares about that game, that was amazing, like, like that game exploded and then was dead in like a month and a half, like, couldn't believe how fast that happened, regardless, um, how is it that all these other, like, if you're not playing Fortnite right now, if you're not into Fortnite, if you don't like Fortnite, there's nothing to play, and I've talked to people, I've talked to friends, I've talked to people on Twitter, I've talked to people on YouTube, I've talked to people on Instagram, coworkers, everybody is kind of in the same boat. If you're a gamer right now and you don't like Fortnite, there's really not much for you to play, right? If we look at some of the biggest things that have come out recently, right? And again, aside from the things I mentioned at the beginning, those successful, critically acclaimed games, right? Of course, those were good. Let's look at the biggest things that have happened, right? Call of Duty. and again call of duty every year is a big release everybody knows it even if you don't play it it's a huge release every year that game from the outside looking in just looks like oh they keep releasing call of duty it's whatever people keep buying it but from the inside everybody knows that call of duty has been getting worse and worse year after year it's just slowly declining and people are caring less and less about the franchise as time goes on the same thing is happening with like fifa and nba titles the same thing is happening with uh, mobile games especially this is a huge you know thing for mobile games assassin's creed we saw like the star wars games that have come out lately have been absolutely abysmal especially battlefront um so when you look at these games oh fallout is another one fallout 76 huge failure um blizzard announced the mobile version of diablo which huge mistake for them massive mistake we even saw battle for azeroth the latest expansion for world of warcraft um is a is a mess nobody in that in that scene is enjoying that content very much or they enjoyed it for a little bit and then it fell off and that happens time and time again it happens to me call of duty comes out i'm excited about the game i post a couple of videos and then a month later i don't care about the game anymore and it happens year after year and it's getting worse and worse over time and so i wanted to kind of acknowledge this and say what is going on in this industry because it's not just me like i said i'm talking to other people i'm watching other videos and this is a trend right now nobody 
is enjoying a majority of the games that are coming out from these triple a development studios and there are many games that are released by indie studios that you know maybe are doing a, a somewhat good job um but you know we're not they're not in the limelight right because they don't have the marketing budget and they're not big or accessible like fortnite so you know if you're not playing fortnite right now you're not playing much and the end the reason is why 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 is this happening what's going on here that's the question right that's what i missed that's the question what's going on here why is this happening well a couple of things are happening one thing that i've noticed uh the trend of the gaming industry over the last couple of years has been the attention span of gamers and their motivations for playing games right so back in the day right let's talk about call of duty 4 or maybe even you know an older world of warcraft expansion we'll talk about like burning crusade or wrath of the of the lich king or we can even talk about like you know super mario sunshine or some gamecube classics right why did you play those games well a couple of reasons um you played them to have fun right because the games themselves were fun they had good stories or the gameplay was, ex was exciting or something like that or you play them to get better at the game right you wanted to progress your character um maybe you just wanted to be better than your friends right if you think about cod 4 you know jumping into pro uh, private matches with friends quick scoping things like that you just wanted to get better at the game and unfortunately um oh and an another thing was community right maybe a lot of your friends played these games or you made friends while playing these games that's a big thing for like mmos with um with you know world of warcraft i used to play a text-based mmorpg like i'm not kidding it was a browser based text based mmorpg meaning there were no visuals there were no pictures um there were no there was nothing right there was just text right and i played it every day i played it for hours um and most people can't even comprehend a text-based mmo but i played it all the time right and it was gripping because i knew people who played the game i made friends playing it um and i had to work towards getting stronger in the game right and getting better at the game so what i wanted to talk about is you know the the trend moving from a um a decrease in attention span of the average gamer right and also uh, the reasons that people are playing games these days because what started to happen as we moved from console games to maybe online gaming and mmorpgs and things like that the games that started to explode the most meaning like the call of duties of the of the gaming industry right uh were the, the games that were exploding the most were the games that were giving players rewards more frequently or on a certain timed basis regardless of performance right and these are rewards that are you know like i said just by playing the game you would get them so in call of duty for example as you level up you unlock more perks or more guns right or let's say you know attachments for your gun or camos for your weapons or skins for your specialist or something like that right as you play you will eventually unlock these things and if you look in like the challenges section you know you'll see how they're kind of laid out some of them you know you need a certain amount of kills and the next one you'll need even more kills so as you progress you're constantly unlocking things and this was built uh, kind of following the model of gambling right so a lot of these companies actually hire uh, professionals from the game the gambling industry to help them produce their games I mean we see this even with Facebook and Instagram and Twitter those companies those social media companies are hiring people from the gambling industry to perfect the addictive nature of their games and this is something that we started to see over time and it got worse and worse and worse uh, and more and more games started relying on this system of this reward system this external extrinsic reward system for rewarding gameplay other than just playing the game right like you, you for example you might play call of duty so you can hit prestige one or prestige two or whatever rather than just playing it to get better which is what we used to do right we used to play call of duty one two three we used to just play the campaign for those games right now when a new call of duty comes out hardly anybody touches the campaign because nobody cares right I'm, I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of people who care but in proportion to the number of people who play the multiplayer i think that there's a smaller a much smaller percentage of people who play it for the campaign right so with that being said we saw that the the overall industry shift from you know good gameplay and good story uh and we switched it to how can we get people interested in unlocking more stuff and continuing to play right because it wasn't just enough to get people to play a game for fun because eventually a new game would come out that would replace that game right um so what developers decided to do was okay not only are we, we going to release the game 
we're going to add a reward system on top of that so that way people have a reason to continue to play and after they've invested a certain amount of time in the game uh then then they'll feel more attached to that character because they've spent all that time and they can see their progress over time rather than you know getting better at a game you can't really measure that in any way right i mean you could 1v1 people and you can play in tournaments and stuff like that of course um but by just looking at someone's profile like yeah you could see like a kd or something but it's way cooler to have an awesome skin or a badass like emote or something like that right or special guns or whatever the case is so game developers put on top of their core game they put on this external reward system to get people to not only keep playing but to make sure that they're fed a reward every so long right every so many minutes of gameplay they'd be sure to get a reward and games like world of warcraft actually slowly with each expansion added for, straight away from the core gameplay to actually adding adding more in right so now they increase the level cap and and as you get closer to the level cap you get more and more stuff and now you can level faster and the the questing is streamlined you know so games uh have shifted from the experience of the game and getting better at the game to how fast how streamlined can we get people hooked into this reward system so that way they feel really engaged in that reward system so they continue playing the game over and over again another thing that we noticed or another thing that happened to the gaming industry was the explosion of twitch and live streaming as well as youtube content so what i mean by that is now game developers as opposed to back in the day game developers these days consider how exciting and how fun and how entertaining is it to watch somebody else play that game rather than play it yourself right so game developers are now trying to think of okay what would make this game not only fun to play but even more fun to watch right so they do things like adding animations adding like cards that fly and pop in the screen and explosions and really saturated colors that's something that fortnite does really well saturated beautiful colors right they add sound effects that sound really crispy and really good like they engineer those sound effects on purpose to sound amazing right so not only do we have the core game now they've added an external reward system and now they're focusing more on watch uh, watch experience than actual game experience right so now we're seeing now they're focusing on that watch time the watch experience what is it like to watch that game be played rather than play it yourself you have to ask yourself okay well why are they doing all this anyway well it's simple they make more money that way right the more people who continuously play their game the more people who watch that game be played the more copies of the game get sold and the more dlc that they'll sell as well and there's a final piece to this puzzle right the final piece of the puzzle was microtransactions microtransactions came i mean really they've been around for a long time but i would say they exploded in the mobile industry with things like candy crush and angry birds and clash of clans um we saw game of war fire age or whatever the case was like those games started making ridiculous money from companies that were basically nothing right they started making six figures a day sometimes seven figures a day and these big you know ea activision blizzard they all realized this and was like whoa like that's insane we need to figure that out so the final piece of the puzzle was microtransactions so let's recap now not only do we have the base game which you know that's where it all started gaming started with the campaign right the experience or getting better at that game now we have an external reward system on top of that so not only do you play to for fun and to get better now you've got a, a system of giving you rewards for playing so now you're getting cool skins and guns and stuff like that then on top of that we have them focusing on watch time so they're developing the games to purposely not only hook the player but also hook people to watching people play that game so that way it does better on twitch and youtube and finally we add on top of that microtransactions and these microtransactions are not designed to make you have more fun right a lot of times microtransactions are designed to reduce the amount of time in between those rewards that we talked about reward systems right the battle pass requires experience to get through each tier but you can buy those tiers for real money so you can kind of quickly move ahead and progress even faster it's like a shortcut so now we've got all these people playing these games and they're hooked into the reward system and they're watching their friends play it on twitch and youtube and then we have microtransactions uh, come on top of that and now you can buy your way ahead of that reward system or you can buy even cooler stuff with real currency so you get 
instant gratification right not only do you have a streamlined leveling or questing system that you know has been improved over time to make you more addicted to the game but now you actually have a way of just skipping some of that and just jumping level to level to level and getting really cool skins and really cool guns and really powerful armor or whatever the case is depending on the game that you're playing and again this has been fueled pretty much by money because these gaming corporations are like i said they're corporations that's what they do they're trying to uh, to uh, appease the shareholders that have purchased that stock so again these are things like ea and activision and blizzard and things like that um bethesda especially so now we look around and we see the gaming industry as a whole and we say well why aren't we getting gripped by these games and the reason is because this system, the progression of the industry, has turned from gaming to gambling, right? Now, instead of working for kills or working for headshots to get a cool camo, you can, you know, play the game enough to earn loot boxes, and now that camo is randomly generated. So maybe you'll just get a nice hit of dopamine uh, just from opening up an RNG chest. Or you can just pay money to get that same camo. Um, the more money you spend, the more stuff you'll get, and you'll feel better about it. But the problem is, the, the games are lacking that core element of gameplay and of the feeling of getting better because people don't play games to get skins they play games because the games themselves are fun and this system has worked for a while because the system was built on top of the success of older games that already came out um, but as time went on more and more time has been dedicated to actually making the game more fun to watch or they're adding these reward systems whatever, and it degrades that core element of the game so now that actual game is less fun to play than it was and we see this as a prime example with games like Call of Duty and World of Warcraft you know these games are far less fun and fulfilling to play now because they do things like balance classes and balance guns and balance perks to the point where everybody is just doing average all the time and they they do this thinking that oh well you know maybe if the bad players do a little bit better by just kind of pushing them along then they'll get hooked into that reward system and spend more money on microtransactions but the problem is we you know it, people don't get hooked because the core gaming experience has been degraded over time so now we're seeing games come out and there's a whole lot of hype around them because they're a huge marketing budget and a huge push for this game we saw this with apex legends it's like oh my god this new thing came out it's amazing um and then it's just a spark in the industry and it's dead immediately and they you know sometimes they make their money sometimes they don't um but the the, the fact remains that that games seem to be getting more and more empty as time goes on they, they don't they lack that gameplay element that we started with or the original fun campaigns that we saw from games in the past and there's no better proof of my theory than the fact that we're seeing tons of remasters coming out especially from sony i mean we saw the crash bandicoot trilogy we saw the spyro uh the dragon trilogy come out we saw them we're now getting the crash team racing coming out i know thq just announced they're remastering a uh a spongebob bio for bikini bottom we're seeing remakes everything from uh the wii u has been pretty much ported over to the switch we saw po uh, let's go eevee and pikachu basically remasters of pokemon red blue and yellow so you know there's all these remasters and re-releases right we saw the remaster of call of duty 4 now we see them rebooting modern warfare as an, an entire franchise um and you know that's just proof right there that even game developers realize that the games that they used to make are, are actually fan favorites and just simply better games than the ones that they've been releasing lately and part of that is because the games that have been released lately have been focused on making as much money as possible off of a game that doesn't really have that core gameplay element and people are less inclined to work at a game right and that's what made fortnite so popular right most people are terrible at fortnite because not only do you have the gunplay that comes into into play right and you have to be good at shooting um but you also have to be good at building and that's not an element that was really in any other games before it of course we had minecraft um so you know that there's kind of a parallel there but that's why fortnite has done so well and all these other gaming companies couldn't even emulate that because fortnite is hard to be good at and you actually have that 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 reason to play right 
people play Fortnite for a variety of reasons, but you can see yourself get better at Fortnite, especially with building over time and actually getting better at the game is going to keep you playing longer than just unlocking skins or unlocking microtransaction DLC bullshit, whatever. Um, people actually want to work at something and get better at something and see that result. Um, whereas other games like Blackout and things like that, you don't really get much better. I mean, the game you just drop in and it's the same thing over and over and over again and they just hope that you buy the battle pass and buy the skins and buy the loot and buy the boxes and everything like that um but they don't have that element that fortnite has where it's actually hard to be good at the game right a lot of these games people just play and like they're average and that's fine but when you play fortnite and you're and you just start it's apparent that you're trash because you die immediately like you just it is so clear that you're garbage at the game whereas when you jump into a game like call of duty or world of warcraft or anything like that when you first start you know you can still kind of get some kills you can still kind of do well you might break even you might go a little bit positive or you might be able to quest without dying immediately right you don't really get punished too hard in games that we've been seeing lately whereas fortnite you know when you're trash um and that's a huge portion of it right and of course not only does fortnite have that but they've added on top that external reward system and microtransactions and now it's fun to watch and it's you know accessible to everybody and that's just the perfect formula for a game and other game developers are trying to emulate it but they're missing the key component which is you have to have a game that's either fun to actually play or a game where if you invest time you can see yourself getting noticeably better and that is not present in most games that have been coming out lately because again they've been favoring all the other stuff we've been talking about they want to make them really really graphically amazing and beautiful to look at they want to make them fun and explosive and all this other stuff and they want there to be microtransactions and cool skins and cool guns and cool everything and nobody cares about that stuff because if they don't see themselves getting better then they're going to get hyped about a game and then not care about it right right after um and again i'm making this video because i've seen this with myself i've seen this with people that i know co-workers and friends and people on youtube watching videos um people in all sorts of gaming communities have all come to this conclusion that games that they're playing now are just not as fun as games that they used to play when they were growing up and again nostalgia is a big deal um, and it plays a factor but there's no denying the evidence and the proof of, of what I've mentioned in this video um, and what's interesting and this is kind of what I'm gonna end on is that not only are we seeing all these remasters and reboots and remakes coming out now um, but some of the more popular things that are on twitch are classic world of warcraft and we've also seen the huge explosion of old school runescape not only is it on PC but now I think it's on mobile and these games are anomalies in the current in the current uh, you know gaming industry right because they're very slow games they're very grindy they don't have good graphics it's it blows people's minds why would you play a 15 year old game that looks like that and plays like that and it's because it has a core element to it that all these new games lack and that is progression and seeing yourself get better and rewarded for actually being good at the game whereas these days new games you could just buy the coolest guns buy the best guns buy the best skins buy everything and just skip all that nonsense right with that being said guys i know this has been a really long video um if you enjoyed it drop a thumbs up and comment down below telling me what you think about this theory what i've presented in this video what do you think about it are you feeling the same way are you feeling that there are, like there are not that many games to play are you not really gripped into anything right now and do you think that that what i've spoke about is the reason why or do you think there's another reason that you haven't been into anything i would love to hear com your comments down in the comment section below um subscribe if you're new around here and if you really want to hear more videos from me make sure you click the bell button so you're notified every time that i upload if you don't that's totally cool i don't like notifications either so i don't expect you to do what i myself don't do with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been on the arc and i will talk to you guys again soon peace